What's up guys? So we have the director here, Alexandra. She's got a film that's very near to my heart, or maybe I should say my stomach. <laughs> Alexandra, can you please tell us what is your film out here? It is uh, Ulam Main Dish, which is the first and only Filipino food documentary in the US. Very cool. So can you tell us, sure it's about food, what is your film about? So it's about <coughs> Filipino food, which is the hottest cuisine right now in the United States, and about the restaurants crossing over into the mainstream, uh, specifically in New York and LA. Well, so, you know, what brought you to the subject matter? I mean, I love to eat, so <laughs> I can assume, but I Me mean, too. Yeah, I mean, uh, what brought you to make a film about food? So for me, it was really a homecoming. It was um, me figuring out my Filipino-American roots uh, and figuring out, like, what does that mean for me? So it was really, um, you know, food. <laughs> food was really the entry point for me to rediscover my culture and um, kind of figure out what does it mean to be a Filipino-American today? What does it mean to be an Asian-American? And so we use the method of a food documentary and sort of the style of a food documentary to delve into these deeper questions of identity. And um, it's really an immigrant story as well. And as the daughter of immigrants, it's um, near and dear to my heart. Very cool. Well, you know, I grew up in a restaurant uh, seeing awesome. the politics of food, especially Asian food in the United States. It's a lot of identity there, yes. a lot of politics, a lot of culture. What did you find out making this documentary about food and how we fit in this landscape? I mean, it's all about representation. Yeah. <laughs> That's really what it is at the end of the day is, you know, where can we gather as Filipino Americans um, and as Asian Americans? For us, it was restaurants. You know, where can we show somebody who knows nothing about our culture a little piece or a little taste of what it is to be It's a great Filipino. log line right there, a little taste. Of... <laughs> exactly. And so, you know, restaurants just made sense. You know, it was the place we gathered. It was the place that we could um, connect with memories of our food. You know, something that I learned while making the documentary is there is no one authentic way to make Filipino food. That was really surprising. Is it's not just um, you know what your mom made or what your grandmother made. It's what or your tita, you know. That's exactly. what I think. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> your tita or your lola, you know. Um, your memories of the food you grew up with are always going to be better than whatever you have in a restaurant, and that's okay. You know, and that doesn't matter. You know, at the end of the day, it's about valuing the work that your fellow Filipino Americans and fellow Asians are putting in towards making great food and their memories and what they have to share with you. And so um, authentic just means what you grew up with, you know, and I love seeing what everybody grew up with and what everyone's version of authentic Filipino food is. Well, you know, you also mentioned something I find very interesting, saying that, uh, you know, right now, Filipino food is the hottest Asian food. Because, you know, we Absolutely. go through these cycles, Korean, Vietnamese, right. Chinese. <laughs> I mean, what brought you to this conclusion, and, and why do you think Filipino food is so popular? I mean, I think it's just the right time, <laughs> you know? I mean, Filipinos are the fastest growing, um, you know, ethnic group uh, right now, which is incredible. Um, Filipinos and Filipino Americans represent as the number two Asian American, you know, group in the U.S. And so it's been a question of, well, why hasn't it happened before now, <laughs> you know? And we sort of delve into that in the documentary to see, like, well, what has been holding us back, you know? Um, is it... Is it us? You know, is it our community? Do we come and support Filipino restaurants? You know, um, how can we uh, cross over our culture if you know we don't have the support from our own community? So we really like ask those questions, and I think it's it's really just it's long overdue, <laughs> you know, for Filipino food to cross. And over. you spoke, you know, earlier about uh, mm -hmm. if maybe I heard you incorrectly, but the film took place a lot in New York. Is that true? Yes. Now we're yes. in LA. New York and LA. Okay, cool. So <laughs> yeah. Are you LA based or New York based? A little bit of both. A little bit of uh, both. The joke is I live on a plane. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I, I was born in Southern California, and I ended up working at BuzzFeed in New York uh, as a director. So that's where I was while I was making this movie um, and while I was finishing up post. And so it was a process of over the last three years going back and forth. Uh, sleeping on a lot of couches, you know, and really just... Um, but eating a lot of good food, though. Eating a lot of great food. <laughs> and um, and raising the money bit by bit to get us to where we are today. So it was really a labor of love, and you know, all the chefs, um, you know, they have supported the movie, and, you know, we're really, really grateful. 
Mm -hmm. Very cool, very cool. Now, we, we do have to ask, I mean, there's a lot of pauses that we talk yes. about. I mean, I'm sure you uncovered perhaps, I don't want to say negatives, but sure. understanding of like why our culture, why yes. Filipino culture has not been at the forefront. What, what, what was kind of surprising about that? So for us, it was really the concept of crab mentality, which is essentially there isn't enough success to go around. You know, my restaurant can succeed, but only at the expense of your restaurant, right? That's the idea of yeah. crab mentality. And so to see that sort of shift, um, it was surprising to me that it was really a generational thing. There are a lot of Filipino Americans who were born here or who were born in the Philippines but immigrated here fairly young. And it seems like there's more of a bond between those Filipino Americans than perhaps some of the older generation. Um, there's less, I mean, there's less like negative competition, I would say, between like, you know, the new, uh, new generation of Filipino Americans. And I think it's because we're all looking for something to connect to. Yeah. You know, we're looking for, um, our version of home, yeah. you know, and for us, that really meant food, and that really meant these meeting places, and so to see that was really inspiring, um, you know, and to see that kind of turn, you know, um, was was pretty amazing. And so that was really surprising. And you know what I think is so interesting about that notion is that you know a lot of times we talk about immigrants, we think, especially in the context of now, right? Immigrant now is people using it as a negative. Term. But before, when you were an Italian immigrant, right. uh, a German immigrant, right. you know, a Jewish right. immigrant, right. food was such a big part of the culture right. and what helped change perspective. Exactly. And now when we bring that into the conversation, it's exactly. like, hey, you guys can't wait, why, why can't we? You know? right. So we, we do have to one, uh, ask one last question here. Sure. So this film has had so much reach. Do you even heard that Jonathan Gold? Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell us what was the involvement there? Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's a fan, um, and I'm a fan of him. So uh, we actually. I'm so real quick though. For those yes. who don't know, uh, yes. can you kind of give us a little insight on Jonathan Gold? I'm a food guy, so yeah, I know, but absolutely. maybe some of our. our so, um, so Jonathan Gold is a Pulitzer Prize-winning food critic. Um, I would say probably the most well-known food critic at the LA Times, and uh, he was a fan of the film. So we actually did a preview last year um, at the LA Food Bowl, and uh, he moderated our Q&A, he really put a spotlight on the film, um, and it's because I think there is this resurgence of interest in Filipino food. And uh, we know that Jonathan's a fan of Filipino food, which we're so happy about, you know. Um, but at the end of the day, it's, it's really cool to see our food get profiled in all of these major publications, you know, New York Times, LA Times, uh, and so on. You know, I think we had a feature in Vogue. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, yeah. in which our film was mentioned. I mean, <laughs> literally style, right? And to, to see sort of the mainstream catching up to what we've known all along, which is that Filipino food has always been good. Uh, it's just a matter of perspective. So we hope to uh, help change that perspective. Well, we hope so too. So <laughs> one last thing we will ask is, uh, how how can we help change that perspective? How can we support the film? How can we follow it in this festival and beyond? Absolutely. So um, the best place is to go is to ulamthemovie.com um, and uh, follow us on social media. We have a Facebook page at Ulam the Movie and Instagram as well. And uh, check out our screenings. We're here this Sunday, um, which we're really excited about. And we're going to also be screening at CamFest in San Francisco uh, in the next next week, I think. Oh, wow. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, um, and after that, we're going to be screening in New York as well. So uh, check us out online for um, the latest. Very cool. Thank you so much. And Thank you. We'll make sure we'll get on Yelp too. Yeah. Just to round it out. Just be like, all right. This is exactly, exactly. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank, thank you so much. You. Really appreciate it. That's really cool. Yeah. Yeah.